Hello guys, my name is Luca and in this video I will make a comparison review between the JBL Partybox 1000, the LG Xboom R9 and the Samsung MX T70. At the end I will tell you which speaker is better. I would like to start this clip by telling you their price. JBL Partybox 1000 costs about $900. The Samsung MX T70 and the LG Xboom R9 both cost about $300 each. So, the price differences between them are considerable. But let's see if it's worth buying the JBL speaker or which of these two cost better relatively to quality and price. First of all, I want to tell you that I have been listening to the JBL Partybox 1000 for about 2 years the Samsung T70 for about 3 months and the LG Xboom R9 for about 2 months. I use them most often for listening to music connected to the smartphone via, via Bluetooth connected by cable to the TV when I watch some movie or outdoor at some parties. I will not go into technical details but I will tell you directly the pluses and minuses between these three amazing speakers. First of all, None of these speakers have an HDMI connection, which makes connecting to other devices more difficult and they don't have internal batteries, that is a big minus. All three speakers are suitable for outdoor spaces but can also be used in small rooms, just like this one. The total output power of these three are extraordinary on the paper. The JBL Partybox 1000 has a thousand and a hundred watts with a 12 inch subwoofer, the AMX T70 has a thousand and five hundred watts with a 10 inch subwoofer, and the LG Xboom R9 has a thousand and seven hundred watts with a dual 8 inch woofer and dual 1 inch tweeter. So, deep bass and the low frequencies should make the walls and objects in the house tremble. The LG manufacturer does not provide the RMSA power of the speakers. But looking on the web profile sites, it is marketed as having between 1700 to 2000 watts. As you can see from this clip, the power of the JBL speaker is much higher than the LG and Samsung speakers. All true, their size are similar. The LG Xboom R9 and the JBL Partybox 1000 are literally huge with over 1 meter in length compared with the Samsung MX T70 which is smaller but has a bigger subwoofer than the LG. So in terms of power, JBL Partybox 1000 wins in this chapter followed by, by Samsung with the 10 inch woofer even though it is smaller than the LG. Regarding the inputs, they have almost the same ports, but all three lacks HDMI ports. LG has an optical input, radio and guitar in, while the Samsung has a jack input and RCA in and out. All three have inputs for USB and mic in, so they are similar. All three speakers connect to a smart device immediately and very easily due to the integrated Bluetooth, but you, you must not move away from the speakers more than, than 30 feet because the signal will be lost. All three have interactive light sets, but the JBL is on another level as you can see and stands out more at a party. In second place, is the LG R9 because it has a stronger light mounted directly on the subwoofers and the light is better than the Samsung speaker. In terms of maneuverability, the JBL Partybox 1000 is very easy to move around the house due to the mounted wheels compared with the two handles on the Samsung back here at the back or the two handles on the LG R9. It, it, and it is quite difficult to move them from one side to another due to the weight. They should have wheels at the bottom. 
All three have a control panel mounted above the speakers, but compared to the modern design from the JBL Partybox 1000, the speakers from LG seems to come with an outdated and apparently cheap design and the Samsung control panel is huge and minimalist but has all the usual functions. Both systems from LG and Samsung are accompanied by remote control similar in function and size and the JBL Party Box comes with a bracelet that controls the DJ sound. The Samsung T70 has a small display mounted on top of the unit here turned to the user but the system from LG on the other hand has a display on the control panel that shows the information on it but it is mounted strangely and can only be seen on if you look it from above. The JBL audio system it does not have an attached display but the function and the buttons make it a system that is very easy to use. Both the JBL and the LG unit have a DJ pad on the control panel here and here. But compared with the three buttons dedicated for the DJ sound, the JBL has a multitude of functions and sounds. The multimedia applications on the smartphone are similar to all three and from here you can select between light modes, sound effects, DJ sound and many others. The design and material in my opinion on the JPL is premium and can be mounted on horizontal or vertical. Samsung MX T70 due to the conic shape is more stable than the LG and the material on the LG are cheap but has a more aggressive look and looks more catchy with these huge holes. I also prefer the JBL Party Box 1000 audio quality because the sound is more crisper and the mid and highs are very good compared with the LG or Samsung speaker. Samsung is far superior in bass, medium and highs than the LG that does not excel in this chapter. Unfortunately, when the LG bass blast function is activated, the sounds become mixed. The bass ends up hiding other tones. In addition, the bass distorts at max volume. In my opinion, JBL Party Box 1000 is far superior in bass, medium and highs, modern design, maneuverability, integrated lights and the DJ pad at the top. As a disadvantage, the JBL Party Box 1000 is a lot expensive than the Samsung or LG. JBL is around $900 and it's worth all the money. The Samsung T70 and the LG R9 are around $350 and from my point of view the Samsung system has better sound quality than the LG system and the LG has a more aggressive look and is more catchy. What system do I recommend? Of course the JPL Party Box 1000 or the 710 due to the premium sound quality, light panel and DJ pad.
What is your opinion? Feel free to join my YouTube channel and please hit that like button. Cheers.